Hey everybody, Brian here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I got a couple unboxings to do, but they're not in boxes, they're in packages, so I guess we can say it's going to be some unpackaging to do, and doing some installs. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, here we go. We got a couple packages here. So let's go ahead and see what they brought us. So what we have here, this is a paddle holder bungee cord. Of course, you already can tell by that just about. And we have got a couple of well nuts and some bolts in here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. And we have some pad eyes. So that's package number one. Let's see what's in package number two. We have some seat risers. Finally, they finally came in. Been waiting for these. Been very hard to find. I actually found them on from a guy off of eBay. So finally got those seat risers. And over here, I just have some more well nuts and some more bolts. And of course, I will show you what we'll be doing with that. So we know what we got. Let's look at what we'll be doing. So right here is the paddle holder bungee cord. So I know you're asking, okay, there's already one on there. Why are you getting more? Good question. If you're not familiar with the Lifetime Kayaks, there's hardly any holes in the upper hull. Say, for instance, this handle here, this is all molded in. The top hole is pre-molded. These screws are not protruding through the hull. So the only holes that are in this kayak are the bungee cord that I don't understand. Of course, I understand your rod holder. And then... The rivets for the mounts for the seat. That, are, that is the only holes in this boat. So, with that being said, I'm going to show you why I got some extra bungee paddle holders. So, I'm going to go on the other side of the kayak and I'm going to show you why. Alrighty, y'all. So, as you can tell, I've already started on one. So, I had to cut the bungee off. And then I took the... Bungee from the packaging, took the cord out. I want to use the original bungee, bungee. And this is all going to be put together like this. So if you do not know exactly what the well nuts are, let me go ahead and show you. So a well nut is just a, um, like a rubber sleeve. It's got a rubber head on it. And it's got your rubber sleeve. And it's got a brass nut on the inside. So as you tighten it, it squeezes and creates a grommet. And that's what makes it waterproof. So I wish Lifetime would have done this when they put the bungee cords in there for the paddle holder. Then you wouldn't have to be doing this. But I saw this on one other video. Through all the YouTube videos I've seen, only one guy has done this. And it's like, that is an awesome idea. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish tight. I'm sorry, I accidentally hit the power button on the phone. What an idiot I am. All right, so we got that one off. This is the new bungee, but we're not gonna be using that, so we throw that over there. Let me go track down this coupling that ran away on me. There we go. Got it. Okay, sorry about all the movement. So, we're gonna take the bungee we cut off the, of the kayak. We're gonna slide it into the coupling. Just like that. And we're gonna slide the bungee into this clasp. Let me get this for you. All right, so we got them in. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna feed the bungee all the way to the end here. And you're gonna take the clasp, the coupling, and just push it in, and that's it. It's gonna stay in there. And then you just drill your holes a little bit bigger for the well nuts to fit in. And then you just do like I did on the other side, tighten that in, and you're good to go. 
So I will finish this one up later. Not gonna waste time on that since I've already showed the other side. So let me go back to the other side of the kayak and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing. Well, I'll show you right here since I've already shown y'all my um, transducer mount. So the way I installed this before was just like those wooden screws that it comes with. So that's what I'm doing with these. Actually, I already got the well nuts in there, but let me show you these here. So these are a little bit longer and it comes with these bolts. So this is extra from these here. So I got a pack of six. So we have two, four, and this will be six. So I already got the well nuts in there. So we'll just take the bolts, put it into there. Oops, sorry, there we go. Get that one started. Level up this side. Get that one started. Yeah, I'm just not too crazy about those wood type screws going into plastic. I do, when I drill the holes, I do drill them just a little bit um, narrower than the shaft of the screw just to create some kind of watertight seal. But nothing beats these rubber well nuts though. So we're gonna get this all tightened down. And we won't have to worry about any water getting into the kayak from here. And of course you all know whenever you're screwing into a kayak you never ever want to use a drill to drill all the way down so all you're going to do is strip out that plastic and then you're going to have to drill a whole bigger hole to use a bigger screw so there we go you can see how it flares out here and it's pulling that brass coupling in closer so it's creating a grommet as well as a watertight seal here so no water is getting in through there and I'll be doing the same thing for my mount here. You can see I already got my holes drilled and everything. So I'll be doing that later off camera. I've already shown one. You don't want to see the other. And I also just got my ram mount for my fish finder. So before all I had was just the um, standard mount that came with it. So this makes it a lot better. I can see it a lot easier. So... Let's go ahead and go on the other side of the kayak and I'm gonna show you what else we're gonna be doing with the rest of these parts we got right here. Okay, y'all, we're on the other side of the kayak now. So as you see, I do have a anchor trolley system all set up. Now, there are several different types of anchor trolley systems out there. The one I decided to go with is called the H2O anchor trolley system with the well nuts. Now that's another area I got a good idea about using the well nuts to keep everything more watertight so as you can see here this is the well nut here it's just my iPad here so I just wanted to show you that so if you do like this idea of using these well nuts here there is one on Amazon that's where I got this and it comes with the well nuts so you don't have to worry about screwing into your kayak and all so I also got these bungees with the ball. It gives it a little bit more shock and I can always, makes it a little bit more tighter. And also with the iPad, this extra pack of iPads I got, I'll be putting in here with some extra to well nuts I got. So I got this one here and I got this one over here. And you use as a guide for my anchor line here. Got it right here. And let's see, this is the anchor here. So it's tied on the, got it attached on the bottom. I'm gonna get something better than this. This just came with the clothesline. And for the breakaway system, you just use the smallest zip tie you have and make it real tight. So therefore, when you have your anchor deployed, if it gets caught up on something, you just pull it hard enough, it'll pop off the zip tie and it'll turn upside down and you still retrieve it. That's what everybody calls about the breakaway system. So make sure you always have a breakaway system just in case, because you never know. So, just show you a little bit here. So here's one well nut. And 
another well nut. This one's a little bit longer. Go with this one. So we have our two well nuts here. So I already drilled the holes, of course. Save you time. I know if you're watching a DIY video, I assume you know how to pick out the correct size drill and you know how to drill. So save time by doing that. And we're gonna grab our bolts here and our pad eye. Get the pad eye. Go ahead and open these bolts. Now with these well nuts, you can get them from Lowe's and Home Depot, but they are not called well nuts. They are called expansion brass fittings. So just in case you go to Home Depot or Lowe's looking for well nuts, you're not going to find them like that. It's got to be expansive brass fittings. So, of course, we're going to need our... There we go. That makes it easier. So we're going to put... Ah, it got stuck to my finger. Oh, I got a lot of comedy going on tonight. All right, so we got one going in, getting started. And I always recommend the countersunk screws, just to make it look a little bit better. And of course, these are stainless screws. I can't wait to get my camera going. I'm still waiting for that charge cable to come in make things a lot easier and I won't be moving the phone around as much I do apologize for that and now uh, where did I put my screwdriver well you get the idea oh yeah it's over here because I was over here with the pad eye for the anchor system so go ahead and tighten down the guideline here All right, that's just to make it stay in the same area so it's not going, moving around all over the place. Easier to keep track of. So we'll have another pad eye. And two bolts. And two well nuts. That's got two in there. Yeah, I went to Lowe's to get these well nuts. All they had was four. That's all I was looking for. But one of these was loose without the plastic. So I'm going to check out. And I'm like, um, these are both the same thing, but one was outside of the plastic. And she's like, okay, no big deal. It's like, cool. So we got that. <clears throat> and we got that. And we're going to take our top line here. Put that in the middle. And we're gonna thread one of these. Put that in there and get that started. And we're gonna take our other one here. And get that one started. <clears throat> tighten this down I know that ropes and I'm about to move it so with this being Super Bowl Sunday night anybody watch the game I'll watch the second half of it I was hoping for the Eagles to win but the Chiefs pulled it out I mean unfortunately there's always a loser but I mean, everybody played their hearts out. Everybody always does with the Super Bowl. I just can't wait for my Saints to go back to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I wish Sean Payton would have came back to the Saints for next season. But if y'all keep up with football, y'all know he's going to the Denver Broncos now. And he's taken a lot of the Saints coaches with him. A lot of people are leaving. So Dennis Allen has a long way to go for next season. All right, we're going to scoot down here to the other section for the other pad eyes. And with that, i grab some more of these well nuts here. So just pack the head two. Come on. 
and two. Yep. One and two. And grab two more bolts. And they all falling out. One and two. Put these two back in there. All right. So once again, well nut or brass expansion fitting. One and two. And grab one of these pad eyes. Get it started here. Bring our line down and next screw. Here's a quick question for y'all that in like football, I gotta say it's been a, several years since I watched the Pro Bowl. That's because for some reason, in the Pro Bowl, it's like they don't play. They're just there for the extra money. Like when a field goal's kicker going to kick the extra point after they make the touchdown, all the players do is just stand up. I mean, you're in the Pro Bowl to show what you can do. Nobody really tries. There's no hard hitting or anything. It's mostly just showboating. So it's just like, eh, I can go without the Pro Bowl. All right, the anchor system is done. That's all done there. And we got the guideline there. We tighten down the transducer port. And as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that off camera since I already showed y'all the same thing on the transducer side. So let me get all of this out the way here. And we're going to go on to our next project, which is the seat risers, which I am very, very excited about. Because it's going to be raising the seat up about two inches. Let me go ahead and I'll be raising the seat up about two inches so I can actually fit my tackle box underneath. Because lately when I've been out fishing, my tackle box is either right here between my seat in my ice chest that I have to constantly turn around grab my tackle box out or I have it over here by my feet taking up some well foot space so I cannot wait for this it took so long to find somebody to actually sold these okay so we have this one here and it's got a set screw at the top Let's see if you can see that there and put that back there so there's two of these one for each side of course and we have these so this is that one there so this is this little rounded part that goes towards the back so we're going to slide this right on in here whoop upside down so you can see there is little notches here that will stop it so it doesn't go too far so you just put that in slide it and that's it now for the other side get the angle on the out there we go so let me go ahead and grab my seat and we'll get right into this and we'll see how it comes out let's see all right so we got our seat here All right, and of course I like to be in the higher up stance. So, come on, work with me. There we go, that's good for now. There we go, so that just pops in there. Pops in there, front's done. Now, you have this little part that sticks out here. That's gonna go into this here. So, we're gonna lean this forward, slide that on, maneuver that down. Come to the other side, same thing, 
slide that on, maneuver that down, set screw up here, set screw up here. I will tighten that down later. It's no big deal for that right now. And that all looks good there. So let's go ahead and take a front view of this, see how much room it gives us. Oh yeah, it's a lot more space. My tackle box will be able to go right in there. In fact, let me go grab that. We'll do a test fit. All right, I do apologize for that. I got some extra lures today. So I had it in the other room while I was watching TV, rearranging things and stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit tall of a box, but now, perfect. Slides right in there. So now whenever I need it, I just go ahead and grab my handle, slide it right on out, change out my lures, right back in. Absolutely perfect. I have more packages coming in this week. I actually made a, some good orders last night. So I'll be doing reviews on that. So look forward to that coming in. I think that's some stuff y'all are going to like. Uh, of course, as always, everything you see me install on here tonight, it's going to be down in the descriptions of where I got it. So you know exactly what you're looking for. Not like, what was it that they said? What was that? So... All the descriptions of what I bought is going to be in there. So you just click on the links and then go ahead and order it, of course. So um, we're going to end it here. Um, as soon as those other products come in, I'll go ahead and do some reviews and installation videos on that. If you like what you saw, of course, go ahead and subscribe. Um, like, if you like the, my content, go ahead and like it. Um, subscribe, of course, notification bell. Um, leave those comments. I always like comments. So if you like what I'm doing, just, hey, good job. Or if you feel I can do something different, let me know. Any other ideas, shoot me some comments. I'm going to read them and I'm going to respond. So that's going to do it for tonight. Have, have a good night. Take care. And I'll catch up with y'all later.